Rock Teasy up in here. Who we got on the line? What's your name? Darren. How you doing? I'm good, man. How you doing, buddy? I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the bullying. Mm -hmm. So when I was a little boy, I suffered from uh, what they call alopecia. Mm -hmm. And basically, I didn't have any hair. And I still don't have any hair. And all the, all the kids in my class used to make fun of me. They called me Baldy. And it just, it just really, really hit home. Yeah. Oh, my God, you make me cry. What I went through. <sighs> Making me cry over here. You shouldn't have. Just because you have no hair doesn't change the person that you are. Not one bit. No. Kids and adults don't realize the harm that their words can do to somebody. Children hurt themselves or commit suicide just because of bullying. This is why I'm so passionate about it. I will always, always, always fight against bullying. Yo, Rock TZ in the house. What's up? What's up? Man, we got a little twerking DQ. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I'm just calling because I was listening to you guys, and we have a bit of a concern about what y'all are talking about. Okay. Ever since I've known Little Twerk, she's been nothing but two-faced. She'll say one thing and act another way. I just feel like just because you've been bullied in the past, doesn't necessarily mean you should be someone to educate, are you? It's Amanda. It's Amanda. So let me let me let me jump in real fast, yeah. if you don't mind. Also, specifically, you don't need you don't need Kaylee. It's Amanda. It's Amanda. <laughs> First, Amanda lies about her relationship with Chase, and now she's trying to sabotage Kaylee and Daquan on the radio. I don't know what's gotten into that girl. Why do you think I shouldn't be the person to educate? I don't think you're, you're a proper role model in general. You may be able to apologize for something at the end of the day, but the fact of the matter is you still don't know how to control your own anger, and that's not something that would make you a good role model to children. Uh, I see what Amanda's doing. She's trying to bully me and ruin my new career. Well, f that and f her. You want to play, Amanda? Fine, let's play. I have apologized in the past for my mistakes and my words. So just because I've had something go down before doesn't mean I'm that same person. Doesn't mean I'm not a good role you model because times that you are two faced. What does being two faced have to do oh, with? Here's her uh, boyfriend in the same. Saying one thing and acting another. You have no you know, right to like, call and say that I am two faced. You say something to one person and then you lie about the next. She was lying for months about not sleeping with Chase. But guess what? She was. That you don't think that was a problem, that you dated her ex? I didn't date anybody, I didn't him. So you're talking to her ex? Yeah. She's allowed to be friends. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. So is this like a, I think now? Is it or is it not? I revenge wait, wait, wait. So who's really the two-faced bitch, Amanda? You've lied multiple times, and I've spoken on it about our friendship. I've spoken on our friendship. What the heck is going on? This is really professional. They're arguing on the freaking radio. You came to a club and tried to bite me. Uh, your boyfriend tried to slap me in the face, so you should have no, no. Are you ridiculous? All right. Well, you can. Nope. Nope. Okay, you can think whatever you want. Regardless, you slapped me at a club just weeks ago, and you're the very last person who should be a role model about if that's what you can Can I speak for a second? In everyone's lifespan, people are going to go through things. If you guys are truly friends, look, you got to let me finish. As a friend, you guys are going to make mistakes. That means a lot to me. and I, not you. I'm going to go ahead and jump in right here and drop this call. This is Daquan and I's radio debut, and she f***ed all up. Amanda, you are dead to me. D-E-A-D, dead to me. Any bit of relationship that you think we have is gone out the door. See you later. Don't talk to me again. Next time on Little Women Dallas. I never see you anymore. Well, gee, I wonder why. I got a job for you. What else do you want from me? Time with you. I think you're spoiled. You guys know where Amanda's at? She's not invited. I feel like I'm losing my best friend like just because of this one guy. So she basically chose him over you. So you really want to move to California, though? Would that be like your... I don't see much growth for me in Dallas. And I don't really see much growth for you here, either. So, you want to come to California with me? I know you don't like me, and I don't like you. So if you don't like me, why are you talking to me? Jeez. You're my world, Kaylee. I just want to marry you. Hey, what did he say? Yeah. Is he about to freaking propose?